Imagine you were eating alone and playing alone every day from the start of your life. You just feel alone. Now imagine being thought of as a freak or a weird person, all because you don't know how to express emotions. Just by yelling from excitement, people will stare and criticize you. But why? The society we live in judges people so often that it's become normal. We shouldn't make anyone feel alone or judged over something we can't control. So, why do we shame kids with special needs? I hear things every day at school about my fellow students who have special needs. Kids love to say stuff such as, I wish I was in a special needs class because they don't do anything, or shut up, you sped, or man, I wish I was sped so I can yell and get out of class. Why are we putting down our peers? As a sister with two brothers with special needs, I have seen this so often. I decided I had to do something about it. So, I am sharing my story in hopes that I can impact my community with understanding and empathy. My youngest brother, Don, has autism, and my other younger brother, Stephen, has severe autism, which makes it hard for him to interact with others his age and make friends. People don't acknowledge him or even try to understand his world. Stephen has strengths and weaknesses just like everyone else. However, others see him differently and make fun of him. Stephen follows patterns and has a routine and becomes upset when these routines are changed. He struggles with communicating and finding the appropriate words to express greetings or polite gratitude. He's misunderstood. It's tragic that many people make inappropriate comments about him and treat him as though he is sick or unearthly. I'm tired of it and I want it to stop. Instead of criticizing others who are different, first think, how would you feel if others criticized you instead of accepting you for who you are and what you have to offer. In reality, we all scream for excitement and make some sort of distraction to express our emotions. When someone in our special needs community yelps, let's cheer them on and say, that's all right. When changing routines, let's provide consistent schedules and solutions to support our students with special needs. We all have schedules and it's not so different from kids who need a routine. Let's make it a priority to be inclusive of everyone. Let's learn about each other and understand each other, including students with special needs. It's a shame to see others disregard students with special needs. Families with special needs students have to give up many things to help their family. I don't go out as much because I choose to be there for my brothers. I spend more time at home supporting both Don and Steven with their education and other needs. The cruelty of judging our peers without knowing what they go through is disappointing. I never think of myself as better than anyone, but I give an amount of respect that is deserved. If we just give that simple respect to our friends with special needs, we can all live in a world where we don't have to judge others, care about what others think, and struggle to fit in. I am the proud sister of Don and Steven, who are not much different than typical kids. When Stephen allows others to play in his world, he does not judge or make fun of anyone. Stephen considers everyone as his friends and equals. Imagine if we all did the same.